Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to dominate on Tom Kench Jungle. We have Hell of Blades Cheap Shot with Eyeball, Relentless Hunter, Secondary Runes, Free Boots, and Approach Velocity. The two most, in well, three most important runes is the Hell of Blade, Relentless, and Approach Velocity. It's going to how you're going to make your ganks work. Without those, ganks are going to be kind of weak. Typically on Kench, you'll go in for a 5 camp clear into Scuttle Fight, but you can tighten up your clear if you really want to. We're going to get our ward down to deal with the Ivern potential invade. Newbie Ivern players tend to try to cheese your buffs. There's a lot of risk involved since Ivern's level 1 is very weak. He's just trying to be sneaky. So you don't see as much in higher elo, but if you're playing against lower elo Ivern players, they're likely to cheese your buffs down, so I'd watch out for it. We're typically want to, going to want to start W. We're going to auto attack and then immediately swallow, spit him out. I should have left him on the Morgana pool though, that's my bad. That was a really good leash. I'll take it. We'll just pick him up, spit him out onto the Gromp. <laughs> that leash was pretty, pretty nuts. Pretty big. Typically get your Q at level 2. If you run into the enemy jungler, having your Q is going to make a huge difference. We're going to smite the Gromp. We're going to move on to Wolves now. His clear is really healthy on blue side. His clear on red side isn't as healthy because of the raptors. As long as you have your E though, you can take the raptors and knock it too low. Oh dang, Aatrox DC, hold on, let me turn off the Lofi so I can focus. I knew something was wrong, the Lofi was on man. Aatrox DC, I'm gonna have to skip raps now so I can cover his lane. I'm gonna pick them up, spit them out. Preferably cancel their auto attack whenever you go to swallow them. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go up there and kill the Irelia. We have double buffs. We're level three. She's not quite level. Ooh, there it is. There it is. We'll cover for the Aatrox though. I don't know if he's gonna come back. Hopefully he does. And then uh, we can't really push for Scuttle now either because we'll get collapsed on. We have way too many minions. This is going to push into her super hard. We're going to wait for her to step up. We have red buff, so we should win this. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, I really actually has a really bad win rate versus Tom Kench top. So I kind of figured she wouldn't have a chance there. You just auto her down, swallow her, spit her out, immediately Q her. Not what she can do. Plus she was fighting us on minions there, so she's kind of doomed to lose that. I have the minion hunter, D the monster hunter D like debuff on right now. They did that because of funnel. So basically I need to farm more monsters. So I'm getting reduced gold and XP from minions, which sucks. But uh, yeah, not bad. Against basic melee champions, I can't really poke you down. Kench has really solid 1v1s versus them. Yes. We're going to yes. continue to clear this out, get our levels up. Sir Lucho, thank you for the six months, dude. Appreciate that. We might actually be able to go in for a gank on the Zoe. We're getting a lot of HP back here with our red buff. Golems don't do too much damage to you. It's mainly the Raptors. Yeah, I think we go for the Zoe here. She's going to try to get that minion. We need to keep her off of it. Yeah, she wanted that minion so bad, she's willing to kill herself for it. Fizz landed his slow. Yeah, she killed herself for that minion. She wanted to get the little surprise. So she's going to get tongued hard for it. Well played by the Fizz. We'll go for the Scuttle Crab. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, we can't do this. Caitlyn's here. Never mind. Kindred with the jumps. Landed the slow. If I could just get on top of this guy. Mm, there we go. Oh, I felt like this was so free if we followed this. I just need one more auto. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, come on, baby. Oh shit, the Tongue Master himself. <laughs> Your Q has so much range. 
All right, let's get these wraps. Like I said, you'll take most damage from Raptors early game. You will want to use your E versus them to reduce your damage. Whenever it comes up against your other camps, your E is not as useful. Because Kench's single target damage is so high off of his auto attacks and his WQ. Your E is really only going to be used against the Raptors for the shield. Uh, Zoe doesn't have flash. We could actually gank this right now. Yeah, it looks like Fizz had the... Right idea. Uh, that's good. I got level 6 off of leeching some mini next P as well. That's fantastic. We're going to go top now. I'm going to try to get in range. Hopefully Aatrox doesn't die too fast. Typically want to just get your R behind them like a Pantheon R. Like this. Hit her with a Q right as she's coming out of it. Exactly. It's very easy to land your Q. So if you're hitting them with auto's Q and you swallow them up, you spit them out and immediately hit them with a Q. It's so much damage. We're getting some awesome Fizz Roams now. It's fantastic. We'll give them blue buff. I don't think Ivan's going to expect it. I'm going to give it to Fizz. I'm a nice guy. He's going to need to take it though. I don't want to accidentally steal it. And we need to back it. Holy shit. We have 3,000 gold. Yeah, very rarely do you want this much. It's only because we've had constant opportunities. Which you're definitely not going to get every game. But if you do get them. Might as well take advantage of it. On your first back. If possible get Bommy Cinder. And then if you have more gold, you're just going to keep building more and more of your turbo chem tank. Preferably getting cloth armor first, but we can afford this as well. And we'll leave base with a word, with a control word. We're going to get free boots at 815, so we'll just make sure we lay our control word before then. And once your R is level 2, it has way more range. It's like twice as much. Like ridiculously far. But uh, at level 1, your ultimate's only so good. Like, you, like We can use it the way I showed you. Just come in behind them, but... What I'm trying to say is it only gets better per level, like substantially. <laughs> Did I just reset the blue buff? Almost. Just spin him into it, kill it. It's actually funny, you almost never use your E in the jungle. You just let it heal you up normally. Using the shield on it's useless unless it is the wraps. I wish it did more AoE damage, that'd be satisfying. After your Q, you're gonna max your W second and your E last. All right, let's move out. We got our free boots now. Very cool. We're gonna get our pink ward down. And we're gonna pick this guy up. Normally scuttle crabs, you have a lot of uh, control because let's say if somebody does show up, I'll wait to show you. Like let's say the jungler shows up and they, they get it on top of you. You can pick them out. And you just spit him away and then you can like smite him or finish him off or whatever. So Kench's scuttle fights really aren't that bad. You can even grab stuff by Q then W. I'll show you what that looks like coming up. Got Caitlyn flash. Someone in bush? I thought someone was in the bush. I guess not. Is Caitlyn no flash? Why is she chasing? Oh my god, she's gonna kill herself. That's fine. We'll go for the dragon. Dragon's the right call here. Caitlyn was just being super, super greedy. And I, we had a pink ward down to where I felt like we might buy, be able to pinch her. I'm not going to bother to smite it. There's nobody here. Going to let my gray skin heal me up. Just walking around. Pick up some fruits. Oh, that's a heavy engage. We're gonna blue smite her, hit with Q. Oh, I gotta get away from her though. Too dangerous with the Ivern standing there. Otherwise, I would have wiped her. Still might be able to do something though. I wanna see her use her bubble on the wave. It's rare to see. So, <laughs> we might just have to wait till she goes for the back line. So she's gonna Q, go in, and that's when we pop out. 
Yeah, just like that. Oh, she cute. She used her bubble way too soon. Her the minions are kind of in the way. To where I couldn't Q her very easily. Things can get in the way of your Q to where sometimes you have to wait. I still have my gray skin on me. Oh, I didn't get the kill. Shit. Is Daisy actually gonna... <laughs> Dude, Daisy's messing me up. Daisy does more damage than you'd think. So yeah, when it comes to minions and monsters, you can also grab them like this. So right as your Q's touching them, you press W. Oh, it didn't work that time. Normally it works. I don't know if you have to have vision, but I feel like I've done it before just with QW. I might have mistimed it there. I'll try to show you on the next one. I know for a fact you can do it with vision. I thought you could do it without vision too. Yeah, you can just like pick them up and run away with it. It's, it's not that useful, but there's some times where it's optimal. Yeah, we have a lot of gold. We could definitely back. We have an opportunity here since they're mid lanes mid. She's not roaming. This is a free gank for us. Plus, uh, Ivern got low. Ivern nearly died, so he's not going to be here either. We're going to auto her before we queue. Oh, I, why did I swallow him? That was an accident. <laughs> We'll just, we'll just auto her down. A lot of the times when you're in ganks, you want to hold on to Q for longer. That way you don't miss it. Like, I used it a bit early there. I could have stayed on her with my red buff auto attacks after she flashed instead. Because your Q is relatively easy to dodge. And you have to stand still to cast it. So I'll, we'll have more options now with chem tank. We'll be a lot faster. We'll go Mercury Treads. I have a lot of CC. They have a AD as well. We'll go for the Moon Plate for the movement speed. Cool thing about mo the moon plate is you can go into Force of Nature or Dead Man's with it. So if they have AP and AD like they do here with the Ivern, Sedge, Zoe, and then AD, they have Kate, Irelia. We can rush moon plate down and then we're not sure what we want to go yet. We could still go Force of Nature or Dead Man's off of it. It's really strong. Should you main Annie or Fizz? Probably uh, Annie. Fizz isn't usually meta. Very rarely does he stay top tier for long. Annie's always at least decent and she's a very good beginner champion. We're going to R on this. We might just use chem tank. We've got our under turret. Don't typically want to R under there. So you get yourself killed. Whoa, we got a little treat. Ooh. They need to make a lick a tongue Kench skin. That'd be awesome. If you can't get to them otherwise, you would uh, use your Q from range. Ooh, what's happening? Go for his red buff. Take this. Your QW combo for grabbing monsters is mainly is what you'll use on Scuttle Crab and a. Got it. Got the stun. The reason why I didn't swallow her is because all my teammates were hitting her and she was snared anyway. So there's really no reason to go in for the swallow. Oh, she flashed. I need to use my chem tank. Oh, the tongue in the dart. Too, too strong. <laughs> we're going to go deep on that one. Took Kindred with me. She just went in my mouth. And she's dead. This is why they've nerfed Kench's base R range. They had to nerf it because in pro play and high elo it was way too good. So level 1 it's super short as you can see. But once we hit level 11 you'll be very impressed by the range difference. Go for dragon here. Alright cool so check it out. So look at the circle on the mini map. Look, 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 look. Now look. Boom! That was like triple the range. Huge. Oh, and they quit. <laughs> they actually quit. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this Tom Kent's Jungle Guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to come chat and chill live on stream. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.